This is a demonstration of the batch load test import for Microsoft Dynamics GP. The import utility can be used to import hundreds or thousands of test batches and transactions into Dynamics GP. Some possible uses for this functionality are to load test and benchmark things like eConnect import performance, Dynamics GP batch posting performance, database server performance, and also a physical versus virtual environment performance comparison if you're considering migrating from physical to a virtual environment for your Dynamics GP system. So let's do a quick demonstration of the software. Here we have the batch load test import utility and you'll notice that it currently supports journal entries, AP invoices, inventory transactions which are adjustments, and purchasing receipts which are received against a purchase order. For each transaction and batch type, you can specify the number of batches, the number of transactions per batch, and for the transactions that have lines, you can specify the number of lines per transaction. All of the batches will have a batch prefix that you can define, and in case you're not importing into the TWO company, you can change this default date that work to work with your fiscal calendar of one of your live test companies. And so with that, I'll go ahead and import some journal entries. And you'll notice it takes less than a second to import 10 journal entry batches. I'll import some AP invoices and some inventory transactions and some purchasing receipts. And in just a few seconds, it was able to import all of those transactions. Only 10 batches and only one transaction each, but the utility is capable of importing tens of thousands of transactions and batches if you need them. And one side note, for the inventory transactions and the pop receipt transaction, you can define the inventory items that are used, as well as the GL account and vendor used for AP invoices. So I'll briefly show you the configuration file here. Here we define the database where we'll be importing the transactions. The GL account for journal entries is used for both the debit and credit portion of the transaction. And the default vendor ID for AP invoices. And here we have some sample inventory items for the inventory adjustments, in this case non-serialized, and down here we can even have serialized transactions. The import utility will automatically generate serial numbers for serialized transactions. And of course we have an inventory transaction site, and we have a separate list for pop receipt items, the pop receipt vendor, and the inventory site. And in order to help fill out that configuration file, there's a button here for generating the top five inventory sites that are used by inventory transactions, as well as some top non-serialized items and serialized items. So you can simply copy and paste this list into the configuration file. It'll automatically determine your most popular items. The same applies to POP items. And uh, in the future, if SOP invoices are added to the utility, this button also identifies the top SOP items. And now that those batches have been imported, in my case, I use the Postmaster Enterprise batch posting utility to automatically detect and post those batches. And from there, we can benchmark posting performance, Postmaster Enterprise performance, and environment performance. So it's detected these batches and it is now automatically processing them. So that is a brief demonstration of the batch load test import utility. If you have any questions or if you're interested in a trial version, you can go to precipioservices.com and click on the Contact Us link at the top and submit your name and contact information and we'll get right back to you.